over a couple of the basic hand signals and just a couple of the procedural things. They're going to reiterate it at the beginning of GA, but I just want to uh, give orientation to everybody who's new. If it's your first time, uh, maybe a little confusing because you'll see people doing something like this. This is what you do when you agree with somebody in the group. If somebody says, I think, uh, I don't know, what's something we think we can agree on? What do you think is something we can agree on? I think we should occupy City Hall. Everybody should be waving their hands. We're occupying City Hall. Well, that's an agreement. If you're like, uh, I think we should get off of oil. Huh? I think we should get off of oil. Okay, or uh, what What about, um, I don't know, if you, if you disagree with something, I, I'm not going to give examples because I would give more examples. But if this is like, oh, I'm not quite feeling it, but I don't really, you know, have to completely disagree, maybe we can come to some agreement or some middle ground. And then there's block. This is block. This means like absolutely not. There's no like if, answer, but. There's no leeway. I don't need to play. I don't want to yell at you guys. There's no changing it. Like this is like no. No. This is like maybe. No. Isn't this, isn't this discussion? Um, that discussion occurs after, if, you're, if we're voting and, and uh, somebody says they block. Then we go on and we have further discussion about the issue and hear from them and, and, and see why they block because maybe that's something we didn't consider and it can be taken into account um, in the process because everybody's opinion is welcome. What's up? When you block, you're answering a question that the facilitator has asked though, right? You're not just throwing a block up. Negative. That's what he was telling me. We can't just uh, block up now. We wait. How we do it this point in assembly meeting, as for respect for the people who is speaking in the assembly, is to wait for people to finish their opinion. That's not, that's, that's not quite accurate. So what these hand signals are for is a way of while I'm speaking, you can kind, I can kind of get a feel for who agrees, who disagrees, who's like hell no. You know, that's what this is a silent way of communicating instead of being like, yeah, I agree, because if we have 50 people voicing their opinions while I'm speaking, the speaker will never be heard. So when we vote, um, when you block, that will be a way for you to be heard um, when we're voting. But as far as just general speaking, the waving and the fingers and the block is just a way to kind of let your opinion be known, but allow the process and the speaker to continue voicing uh, what they're trying to say. Um, so, uh, like she had something that she wanted to bring up, it's a point of clarification. If this is not for like, I disagree with you, so I want to put my opinion in, which is kind of how it gets abused a little bit. But a point of clarification is, if I said, GA is going to be at 10 p.m. tomorrow night, somebody should say, point of clarification, GA is actually at 7 p.m. It's a factual change, uh, basically, or uh, a point of clarification if somebody is completely gone off on a, another loop. Uh, so that's that's where that comes in. So please don't overuse it because that actually does jump the stack of people, which I will get to, and that kind of puts you at the head of people to talk because you want to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Um, let's see. This means wrap it up. When you think, okay, I've already got your point, I hear what you're saying, and maybe we're just rambling or kind of repeating, you can do this. This means wrap it up. You guys can practice with me. You're going to be doing this in GA. Tell me to wrap it up. Um, so if somebody's talking and you can't quite hear them, put your hands up to your ears and do this. And if you see anybody doing it, you should automatically do it yourself because maybe they didn't see that one person. So, you know, maximize as many people as we can so the speaker knows to raise their uh, uh, voice louder, project, or get a, a, a mic so they can be heard better. Okay, those are the big hand signals. Now a couple of things about GA. There's different ways. Could we practice that just together to do the ear signals because we have to do it as a unified? So can everybody do that together? Okay. It seems silly, but it seems silly, you'd be but surprised how often people are like, I have no idea what he just said. What did we just agree on? Well, I have a question. I don't understand. Well, okay. I, absolutely. So, um, I'll, I'll talk about that in one second. General Assembly, I'll talk about that in one second. Can I say something? Point of clarification. Five minutes. General Assembly, five General Assembly, five minutes is what she said. I have a point of clarification. What's up? I just came from DC, from Occupy DC. Okay. So I just want, I just want to clarify a couple. You can do whatever you want, but can we bring suggestions or stuff to the General Assembly Process Committee? I don't want to muddle up the waters for new people at orientation. This is currently how we're running it, and think this is an evolving process. So if you have suggestions, 
Okay. I, I, just, I, just you, wanna, I was just going to tell you how they did it, but okay, that's fine. Just, just to, because we're doing a video on how we're doing orientation for the moment. Uh, okay. Is that cool? That's fine. All right. So there's a couple ways to bring ideas to the table. Um, you can add them as agenda items up at the front. That's how you get it to be discussed by the group throughout the night. And, um, and once it's something's being talked about, you can either make a proposal which is an act of offering a, offering a suggestion for something, uh, for acceptance. For instance, I propose that we have the GA in five minutes. Then we talk about it. And there can be basically unlimited discussion uh, within a certain allotted time. And that's kind of delineated in the GA process. And then there's a motion. It's a formal way of making a process uh, deliberate to the assembly where you have to vote. And when you have a motion, you, uh, you, you have discussion first. Um, and then you vote, and if there's somebody who blocks, which basically means you completely disagree and you can't can't have it, um, then that point we hear from the people who block because they may have something that's completely valid. We're not invalidating them just because they block. And then we hear from just as many people say three people block, so we hear from the three people, and then we hear from three people on the other side of the opinion to try and you know persuade them, and we can come to an agreement. If we then we vote again. If we can't come to an agreement again. Then we uh, discuss again, and if we can't come to agreement on another vote, then we kind of get uh, set aside, and maybe on another day we can come back to agree to it. Maybe committees need to meet on it. Maybe there's something else that's being considered, or this is just a little too big to handle at this point. So GA process can be a little lengthy. Uh, a consensus is kind of a revolutionary idea that everybody's voice is heard, and everybody has to agree in order for us to move on with uh, what's on the table. So nobody is marginalized and everybody's voice is considered. <laughs> Any questions on that? I know that's kind of a hairy kind of fuzzy topic. Okay. And, uh, what's the top point for making the uh, uh, for getting an agenda item to the table before okay. the meeting? That's a great point. That brings me to the stack. So um, the mediator, or excuse me, the facilitator, moderator, there's several different names for it. We call it facilitator because um, they're really just helping us run the GA. Um, they'll say the stack is open. What the stack means is basically there's going to be a person walking around in the middle, like taking down people's hands so they get everybody a chance to speak. So all you have to do is raise your hand. You'll see somebody with a notebook, and they'll either take down like a description, like, you know, lady in the purple shirt or, you know, whatever. They'll, not everybody knows her name. And you'll get on stack in order if they take your name, and then they'll call on you. So you'll get to go, you'll get to go, you raise your hands. And um, stack will be open for, just an example, maybe five minutes. So you have five minutes. If you have something you want to say on the issue, you, you raise your hand and get on stack. And then stack goes at a certain point, so no more names are added, but we continue discussion of everybody who's already on stack. And then after that, maybe there's a proposal, maybe there's a motion. It doesn't have to be. Does that make sense? So you just raise your hand. That's it. General Assembly starts at 730. At 730, if I want something Get up. All you have to do is this. Oh, it's like raise your hand. Yeah. Which is boring, but we all know. Cool. Um, and so, just for clarification, um, in the meeting, there's going to be uh, several uh, people on the facilitation team. There's going to be the facilitator who's going to kind of uh, be the point person for the GA. And then there's going to be a stack holder, which is the person who's taking down names and making sure everybody gets to talk and to get their points across. And then there's going to be the note taker, who is taking down notes, kind of like a secretary. And then there's going to be a timekeeper to make sure that we're staying on time or, or not running over. And all of these people are uh, uh, voted on at the end of the General Assembly for the next day. So nobody in this is an elected official or uh, they're not permanent. It's, it rotates every single day. You can nominate anybody you want to. You can nominate yourself if you want. So these are rotating things, so we all get to, a chance to try and get in there if you like, or, or whatever you want. It's pretty free-flowing. Uh, now, the minutes of the meeting, uh, when would they be made available to the public? That is a better question for uh, media, because they would be the ones like posting that. So. Um, that's a great thing to bring up. I know some of some stuff we have put on uh, the Facebook page. I don't know what we're putting on Occupy SDF and Camping Label like, for five days. Uh, no. I, I mean, I'm sorry. I just don't answer that question. But there's an information tent up there with all the committees and names and stuff. So it's like the Occupy SD directory. Anybody else have any questions? 
Okay, so the bathroom, um, if you're coming out of the plaza, you just hang a right on the sidewalk and there's public restrooms on your right. Does anybody have any questions about GA, the process, anything? Welcome. Exciting. Very. Yeah. Um, I just want to put a disclosure out there for GA. We talk about a lot of the logistical sides of things, so sometimes it can be a little boring. Don't let it discourage you. This is a consensus model, so we all have to agree. And it's not something that we're all normally used to. We're normally used to like 51% or uh, if you speak louder than you're, that's what it is. Uh, so this is kind of a revolutionary idea. We have a lot of growing pains coming with it. So uh, bear with it and, and just know that when you're doing this, that means you can't, you absolutely cannot you know, agree to move on. It's morally unjust to you. You know, you can't have it. So maybe try using this one a little bit more because we're all trying to agree here. I just want to say about this, you really shouldn't do this until the very end when there's point of consensus and everybody's agreed on something and then the, the media, the moderator says, is there anybody who, who, has, who has a block for this? Because otherwise you're going to have the conversation being blocked. We don't, time. we don't. Because you have a stack, right? The we have a stack, but when people do this in just conversations, we don't count it as a block, we count it as purely opinion. Until it's a vote. Right, but people get to come up with a stack to voice their opinion, so you don't need, you don't need this is all I'm saying until the very end. Right, 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 right. This, when you're doing this, yeah, just, just during discussion, ideas. we don't we don't let that jump stack or anything. We don't let that stop stack. We don't okay. let that modify anything. It's merely people overuse it because it really you really shouldn't be doing this until you vote because it's you know not really blocking anything. It's so much as it's just another way to be heard if you know out of the get go that it's what they're saying. Yeah, I mean, it absolutely is best to do it after consensus of voting, but. It's a, it's a growing, evolving process. It's not perfect. And if you have any suggestions, we have a million committees, and one of them is the GA Process Committee, and they work out the kinks or try to. Thanks, guys. I'm Will. And I'm occupying San Diego.